welcome back to my channel and if you're new here then I'm Baby Liv and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to recreate this orange and yellow cut crease that I did and I added glitter into the inner corner and what I also added into this look was some faux freckles which I've never done that before so that was pretty new to me. It's pretty pretty different looking at myself in the mirror. You can't really see it in the camera but in person you can really see it. You can clearly see it on camera, I just couldn't in my camera. So if you're interested in recreating this look, then go ahead and keep on watching. So first I'm going to be taking this soft beige color from the Morphe 35B palette. And basically I'm just going to be taking that and applying that all over my brow bone area. Next, I'm going to be taking this single shadow from Morphe in Pink Silk, and I'm going to be taking that with an E13, and I'm going to be taking that in my crease, and as you can see, I'm slowly just going to wing it out at the ends, and this is going to create that winged um, cut crease effect. And I'm basically just using this color as a soft, uh, nice transition color to better blend the brighter colors later on. Next I'm going to be going in with the bright yellow from the Morphe 35B palette and I'm going to be going in with a Morphe E17 brush and I'm basically just going to take that in my crease where I had the previous color and doing the same thing, repeating the same motions, just winging it out at the ends. And basically with this color, it's not super super pigmented so you really have to build it up. I mean it's pretty pigmented but it's just not as pigmented as I thought it was. And um... Yeah, I'm just going to be taking that and keep building up that color and keep following these same motions. And next I'm going to be going in with the bright orange shade at the bottom of the Morphe 35B palette. And I'm just going to be going in with the um, brush that I have from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Self Made palette. And I'm going to be taking the more dense side. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it in a flat kind of way. And I'm going to apply the orange color. And then I'm going to just turn it to where it's on the wider side and slowly just start to blend that all out after I've made the crease line that I want. Then after I'm done blending that out with the Anastasia brush, I'm gonna go in with the Morphe M 441 and it's just a clean blending brush that I have it has no pigment on it no color and I'm just going to be blending those two colors out together Then here with my Morphe E17, I'm basically just going to go back and apply some more of the yellow color and then just continue blending the yellow and the orange together.
Then I'm gonna go back with the Anastasia brush and just a little bit more of orange and just keep continuing to build that color. Then I'm just gonna be going back with that Morphe E17 brush again and continue adding more of that yellow color and of course, continue blending it all out together. Blending is key, you guys. Blending is the key. And then since I did go back and add some more color, I'm gonna go back with the Morphe M441 again and just continue blending that all out together. I'm blending for a pretty long time, you guys. Don't be fooled, but I didn't want to make this video so long and bore you guys to death. And now I'm just going to start cutting my crease. And I'm just using a flat shader brush from Morphe and taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer as always. And I'm going to be using that to cut my crease. And in just a second, I do get out of frame and I will apologize for that but I'm literally just following the orange that I had and just cutting that and making it really, really sharp. All right, so like I said, I do get out of frame and this is where that begins to happen, but I'm literally just following the orange that I had created and I'm just gonna go and wing the end like you would winging eyeliner. Then I'm just gonna go back and fill in the rest of the lid with concealer and then connect that all together at the end of the wing. Then I'm going to be taking Peaches and Cream from Makeup Geek. I don't have the single shadow, they do sell it in individuals. But I'm taking it from my Mani MUA palette and I'm basically just going to be taking that and applying it everywhere that I have concealer. All right, so I went ahead and did my top eyeliner off camera, and next what I'm doing is taking the Rimmel London Eye Crown in the shade Nude and just applying that to my lower lash line to give the look that I'm more awake. The next I'm gonna be taking the Bellaterra Mineral Cosmetics Glitter in the shade Cheers and applying that into my inner corner. And for this, I'm taking the Morphe G10 because like I've said before, I love, love, love this brush for packing on glitters. The next I'm going to be taking my Coco Lashes in the Type Queen B. I don't really know how you describe lashes. It's not colors, not shades. Type? Style. There you go. Can't you just tell that I really know what I'm talking about? But anyways, how I like to apply my lashes is I just bring them as close as I can to my lash line and then apply them in the center with just a normal pair of tweezers and then go and ensure that they are pressed on on the outer and inner corners of my eyelid. Then next what I like to do is just go back with the tweezers and clamp my real eyelashes together along with the falsies. And basically this just ensures that they're together and it looks more natural and you can't see your real lashes separated from the falsies. And I already did my face before I did my eyes off camera, but now I'm just going with Champagne Pop and just gonna make myself look like a little glazed donut. The next I'm gonna be taking the Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm gonna be using this 
to apply the freckles. And I'm just gonna be going in with the Morphe MB26 and slowly just dotting it into the jar and then just applying it all over to my face. And I just kind of started with the area like under my eyes and then later on I do go in and do it on my nose because when I added it to the nose it just looked a lot more natural. Then I'm just going to be going in with my beauty blender and kind of just dabbing those in and it kind of picks up any excess product that you might have on whenever you did the dots. And then like I said, I just went back and added some to the nose and it gives it that more realistic looking effect. And then of course just going back with my beauty blender again and blending that in. And for the lips I'm going to be going in with this lip gloss. It's called uh, Mentha Lip Shine and it's actually from Bath & Body Works and it's in the flavor Cinnamon. And I came across this lip gloss a long time ago and I think it just tastes amazing. So I love it. And that is the finished look. All right, thank you so much for watching, guys. And before you leave, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and the little bell so you'll be notified whenever I do upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to follow me on all my social media, which is Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, and I'll have that all linked down below. And thank you so much for watching. Until next time, guys. Bye.